David Barna, uh, Barnson joins us now. Sorry, I was just stumbling over my notes there, David. David Barnson is the man on the right-hand side, and he's with us right now. You are not worried about inflation, are you? Make your case. Well, I'm certainly not worried about it, but that's different than saying that I don't think there will be cyclical inflationary pressures along the way. Um, I think most of what people are calling inflation now is the simple reflation of coming out of the very low pricing levels we saw at the bottom of the pandemic. Uh, some prices have definitely come much higher, and those input prices represent a threat to profit margins on some companies. I think it is very transitory. But a lot of the commodity prices we're talking about and other things, they're not even at like 2014 levels. And so you just simply can't call something inflation, even if it's up a lot in one year, that over five years has a negative price movement. I'm concerned about deflation. Because longer term, we've done so much of debt accumulation in our government that it reminds me a lot of Japan. We've spent a lot of future growth in the present, and history is very clear that that ends up putting downward pressure on growth, downward pressure on productivity, and it becomes a deflationary problem. That's my far bigger concern long term, Stuart. Okay, here's something else that I picked up from your writing. You say that the return to the office is going to outperform expectations. Make your case on that, please. Yes, you've picked it up from my writing and from me arguing with you about it on air, my friend. The, yeah. Listen, right. I, I, I'm here in Midtown right now. There's nothing I'd like more than be sitting across from you. We're just a few avenues away, and I can't wait to come back on set with you. And I can't wait for all the offices on 6th Avenue to be back to normal. But it's entirely a voluntary decision of the senior executives of some of these companies that have been sitting around enjoying their staycation. OK, it is completely healthy and feasible for all these companies to be reopening. Well, now you see the leadership finally coming back. Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan, David Solomon at Goldman Sachs. And they're not just saying things the right way, although they're doing that, too. They're doing it. They're setting the policies to get their people back. And then the law firms and the other smaller financial companies follow suit. This city is so wonderful when the restaurants are open and the gyms are open and people are going to work and the economy ecosystem that makes New York energy what it is, is allowed to play out. I'm very sorry that they got away with punting this all the way to the summer, and then they're going to be able to, you know, punt it into Labor Day. But this idea that permanently people are going to work from home in their sweatpants is ridiculous. It destroys brand. It destroys collaboration. It is not the ideal, optimal environment for most companies. That's my case, Stuart. Sure. OK, I'll put my suit and tie on and I'll buy you lunch when Midtown Manhattan really opens up. David Barnson, you're all right. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you, my friend. Good stuff. Thanks, man.